Uh, hello, we're gonna make a Manchester tart, okay? So, sweet pastry from previous video. All right, so we're gonna make a pastry case. I'll put it in the link description. We've got some uh, creme pat or pastry cream as well from a different video. Some double cream, strawberry jam, and some coconut, okay? So it's gonna be a pastry case, jam in the bottom, custard, and then a coconut cream on top. Okay, hope you enjoy the video, and the first job is to make the pastry case. Make our pastry case okay so we've got a batch of sweet pastry we've got some flour a rolling pin and a tart tin okay so we're gonna roll it out and then blow and bake it ready for our filling lightly dust the flour at the top okay there's some flour and the top okay i'll put the pastry in the description okay so a link to the pastry how we made it okay obviously there's gonna be a recipe as well so this was made yesterday, so it's had it overnight to rest in the fridge. Okay, it's best if you leave it overnight. So we roll it out. Try and roll and turn it. So every time you roll, you then turn. Okay, don't worry if it cracks a little bit, it's just because it's cold, it'll go back together. Okay, again, we roll and we turn. Try and keep it as round as you can. Right, so now we're ready for our tin, okay? So this is our top tin, okay? I'm just going to cut a little bit of the extra off, just around the sides. Put the excess to the side. Okay, we'll reuse that. And now what you want to do, obviously the bottom side is flowered. Okay. So we're going to put that into our tin. So if we gently roll it up on the rolling pin, okay, and then just gently place it on our tin, okay? Get it centered first, okay, and then we're going to gently allow it to drop in, okay? So it's all in, okay? And now you're going to use your thumb and your fingers, okay, just to push it into the base, okay, into the side as well. So we get it right in the corners, okay. So we end up with a nice, like, L shape rather than the round, okay. So again, go around your thumbs. Okay, push it into the corners. Make sure it's all the way in. We're then gonna trim with a knife. Okay, we're gonna go all the way around the edge. So we get a nice flat top. Okay, obviously the excess, we'll put in the corner, we'll use it again. And now's your last chance, just go around, make sure it's nice and pressed to the side, okay? Try not to make it too thin because obviously this tart's going to be blind baked and then the filling added to it, okay? There'll be no more baking. Alright, and if it's too thin it's going to fall apart. Okay. So we've got a nice even pastry there. All right, it's all the same size around the outside. And that's now gonna go in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes before we bake it, okay? Just let it rest. Okay, fridge or freezer, up to you, whatever you got room. Okay, but then if we rest it, it's not going to contract so much, okay? It's gonna stay the same shape. Uh, 
My target case is really a blind bait, okay? I've filled mine with some bacon beans and some rice, and I've used cling film, but my cling film is catering cling film, okay? Not the stuff you buy out of the supermarket, okay? So if you're doing this at home with normal cling film, don't use greaseproof paper instead, okay? I'm out of greaseproof paper, so I'm using um, cling film, but this is how I do it at work, okay? But remember, it's not the normal cling film, it's catering cling film, okay? So it's now gonna go, so it's been in the fridge for about 15 minutes, okay, 20 minutes, so it's nice and hard again. It's now gonna go in the oven for 25 to 35 minutes, okay, until it's nice and baked, okay, nice and golden. We may have, we're gonna take the bacon beans out with like five, 10 minutes to go, okay, so the bottom gets nice and crispy, okay. I will see you in a minute. Cooled, okay, uh, nice and crispy. So first job is we're gonna put some strawberry jam in the bottom, okay? So a nice big dessert spoon of strawberry jam. Okay, maybe a little bit more just to cover the bottom. Okay, so we go strawberry jam, push it all the way to the edges. Like that. And the next job we're gonna put our pastry cream on top, okay? So I'm just gonna put it in a nice little circle, we're gonna gently put it on top. Just so we don't splodge all the jam out in the sides. Okay, so we put all this custard on top. to gently smooth that out, okay? So there's our custard, and the next job is we're gonna whip some cream, okay, some double cream, okay, and then put that on top. Just got some cream, so a little cup of cream, We've got 20 grams of icing sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Okay, and we're just going to whip this to stiff peaks. Okay, so our cream is at stiff peaks. Okay, so all we're going to do now is put our cream on top of our tart. Okay, make sure you scrape it all out. I'm just going to gently smooth it out on top. Okay. So get it all the way to the edge. Just by using a spoon, okay. But when you get it right to the edge. So obviously it sticks to the um, pastry case. Just like that, and we'll put a couple of little swirls in it, okay, to make it look nice. Yeah. Okay. And our last job, just to cover the top with desiccated coconut. Just a handful of coconut. Okay, and there is your Manchester top. Right, Benjamin. <laughs>